While the four-stroke has to make two complete revolutions to produce a power stroke, the two-stroke engine only has to rotate once. This gives the two-stroke engine an advantage in acceleration and throttle response. Two-stroke engines are much simpler than four-strokes. Reed valves are small and lightweight. They don't need any mechanical linkage to make them open and close, since the pressure inside the crankcase does that quite well. On four-stroke engines, the valves are held closed by springs. A camshaft driven by the crankshaft opens the valves at the correct time. All of these parts add weight and take up space. So the two-stroke enjoys a significant advantage when you need a lot of power in a small, lightweight package. However, the four-stroke theoretically has the edge in fuel economy. The two-stroke is hampered because the intake and exhaust ports are open at the same time. This process is called scavenging, and we'll come back to it in a moment. The problem is that some of the exhaust gases get left behind in the cylinder, while some of the air-fuel mix gets blown right through the cylinder into the exhaust system without ever being burned. This wastes fuel and increases hydrocarbon emissions. On a four-stroke, the valves prevent the air-fuel mix from escaping out the exhaust, so the engine runs cleaner and uses less fuel. However, there's a better solution for two-strokes. Evinrude's direct injection. These models don't have a carburetor. Instead of an air-fuel mix, they cycle only air through the crankcase, and fuel is injected directly into the cylinder. The injection is precisely timed, so none of the fuel escapes out the exhaust port. This dramatically increases fuel economy and reduces emissions. Direct injection models enjoy all the performance advantages of two-stroke engines, yet they are equal to or superior in fuel economy and emissions when compared to many four-strokes. <laughs>